compassion brings us together as people who have learned how to turn pain into hope. Let me say that again. Compassion brings us together as people who have learned how to turn pain into hope. The words are attributed to Nelson Mandela, who spent 27 years of his life in prison on Robben Island in South Africa. 27 years of his life suffering great injustice from an oppressive regime. And yet, some, somehow, he emerged from this horrible experience as a man of great compassion and with a hope that inspires millions of people in his own country and around the globe. I'm Thomas Mertz of Trinity Lutheran Church here in Hamilton, Ontario. I live in a city of great needs and of much pain. There are so many fellow Hamiltonians, young adults, families, senior citizens who desperately look for affordable housing. We have so many single parents who struggle to make it from one day to the next, trying to juggle work and making a living and raising their children very often on minimum wage. Hamilton is also a city of great compassion. Every day I meet people who see the need of others and they don't walk away from it, they walk towards it. The people of Out of the Cold, the meal program here in Hamilton, are people like that. They're wonderful people working and cooperating with many charities in Hamilton and working out of many places across the city. On Mondays, they use our church kitchen to prepare a fresh, nutritious meal for people who would have to go hungry if they did not have that service available to them. The volunteers of Out of the Cold, they spend a good portion of their day to chop vegetables and peel potatoes and serve others. Or I'm thinking of a bunch of people, volunteers from our community, who join hands with folks of Trinity Lutheran to deliver the Good Food Box to people. The Good Food Box is a subsidized box of fresh vegetables and high quality fruit. And it goes to people who would not be able to buy that produce at market price. All these organizations and all these volunteers do what they do with great passion and care for the people. They see the need of others and it inspires them to act and make a difference in the life of a person. They relieve some real pain and let people experience, you're not forgotten, I see you and I walk with you. Jesus once said, you're the salt of the earth and light of the world. And I'm grateful to be living in a city where so many people from very different walks of life and very diverse backgrounds come together to be salt and light in somebody's life and bring hope into their world.